Hey guys, welcome back. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go check that out and everything else at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. And don't forget to use the uh, coupon code STOKEBUNKY so you can get uh, $3 off uh, that and anything else in the digital uh, download store over there uh, to support some indie wrestling with the IWC, RWA, anybody else uh, that's up over there in the store. So go check that out. Uh, now is the point where we all remember when. I'm gonna remember when, and I'm gonna remember again and again. I need more words that rhyme with when, and then I'll have a better song then. Uh, this week on uh, Remember When, we've been very enamored over the fa- past few weeks, I think, uh, with Batista's wardrobe choices. That man is a blue belt, sir. A it's blue belt? Just a, I thought it was purple. A legit purple. blue belt, right? It's a it's a belt. Okay. All right. Um, so I th- so um, who I, who came up with this one? Well, initially, uh, there's a story. This was going to be great moments in denim history, but we can't remember a lot of denim in history. Dude, I general. think. No, no, no. Like, what's that? You can't remember a lot of. Denim. I can't remember a lot of denim. Um, so I thought we kind of open this up to be more kind of, uh, fashion statements. Remember when now, Mike, you do have a denim related, uh, memory, I guess. I do. Now, now I know, um, in, in the fashion world, jorts aren't not necessarily high culture or high fashion. Mm-hmm. But um, I put a picture in the doc, and I think that they are making a comeback in the form of AJ Lee. Mm-hmm. Great moments in denim. And can you just find this for the audio listeners? <laughs> um, it is AJ Lee's butt sitting on the middle rope. In denim shorts. This has to be and from a it's house quite show. Lovely. This has to be from a house show or something. I'm not sure where it's from. I, I wish yeah, it was. That's her. That's her house show ass. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Why not? Right. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong gear. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, I, you know, if we're going to like fashion statements, which we've modified this to, um, I, I think. You know, we can't forget the uh, obligatory D'Lo Brown bulletproof vest. Yeah, he was the original shield. He was the shield. He was. He was the shield before the shield. <laughs> now, wasn't it? Vest. It was a chest protector, right? It's a yeah. chest protector, and his doctor said that he needed it, Sorg. That's right. He that's did. right. His doctor but he would said do the, he needed it but, but, because he had flabby man boobs. Because he would do the 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 frog splash with the uh, chest protector, and of course. There you go. Um, I can't wait to watch back to some of that old WWE Network stuff to check out this era. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, really good. Uh, I kind of picked up a. We talked about it on the indie show. I picked up a bargain DVD at the Ring of Honor show for five bucks. Uh, it was Manhattan Mayhem three that had D'Lo Brown, Claudio Casagnols, Antonio Cesaro, uh, Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson, and. Uh, Colt Cabana actually in a four way. So Scotty Goldman. Well, at least Scotty Bolt. Yeah. Scotty Bolt. Hey, that was all WWE guys, wasn't it? <laughs> so that was yeah, it was kind of fun. It's from like 2009. So uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, who, who's next? I posted one in the chat. You did. It's it. it but my one, uh, you can't talk about fashion without talking about Rob freaking Conway. <laughs> that he is one of the top guys he in was, fashion in WWE. He was a new age Buff Bagwell. Did you just call him Buff Bagwell? A new age Buff Bagwell, so better. Better. Okay, he good. was more like a new age Rick Martel. Yes, Rick Martel is a better example of his talents and his looks. And it, he he came out with. The shortest tights imaginable. They were see-through. In the front, he had like a nice big uh, (laughs) air 
area covered. <laughs> what? His, his area covered. In the front, he had a nice. <laughs> he had. He had. He had. Well, so they don't show his. You know, his dick. probably tiny dick. <laughs> um, and also in the back, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, that man had a thong. Hmm. Did he not in the back, or my? I, no, I think you else? were talking about your your dreams, Riz. And I just, no, you know, I'm I'm yeah. serious. Do you know I why thought... he had a thong? Anything more wow. would provide la resistance. Ah. Uh, fun fact: uh, I get to see Rob Conway a good amount of times now that there's a bunch of NWA promotions down here, and now he's gone from like. Buff Bagwell to like super American, <laughs> like, American. which I which we've uh, I've established with a couple people is that it's him making up for his years as a French sympathizer. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, he did the Sergeant he, Slaughter thing. Pretty much. Rob Conway he is, is Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> he is huh. our version of Sergeant Slaughter, just like he is Sorg's version of. Buff Bagwell. Riz, Riz, you put another picture in here too. I did. He dresses like a girl's bike. Yes, Ultimate <laughs> Warrior dresses like a girl's bike. Ultimate Warrior that, dresses that like came, a girl's bike. That came up on my Remember What You Did on Facebook video. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so hey, you remember this Ultimate great Warrior post from like two a... years ago? I was like, I sure do. Sorg, the first thing that came up on my uh, Remember went from Facebook was the Sorgatron for President campaign. <laughs> nice! That was 08! <laughs> that was the first thing that came up. That was the first thing. I was very proud. Nice. Mike, what do you got? No, we already talked to you. Damn it, there's I too many AJ's people in ass, here. And how about, I still do. How about Bobby? I got one. Um, do you guys remember Max Moon? Always! Oh. Any chance I can <laughs> yes. get. Uh, Max Moon was a intergalactic warrior. Um, uh, Conan, I think. Right. Yes, Conan. Um, Conan. 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 Viva La Raza. Um, but wow. he was he was like a cross between an alien and the game Tubaruba. If you remember the game Tubaruba. I've never heard of Tubaruba. <laughs> this is the first I've <laughs> never heard of it. Was, it wow. was a game where you tied yourself to a friend and you tried to get a ball through a hoop or through a tube. <laughs> that sounds and like a really they took odd that, sex game. And they took that and wrapped it around his arms. Pretty much, that's what that costume mm. is, and put a mask on him. So that's an awkward outfit. There you go. Huh. <laughs> Who else wants to go? I got one. Go. Also, side note from that, I have to note that Max Moon was definitely bowdy bowdy and also rowdy rowdy. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, oh, uh, you, I can tell by the way you said it, you hate yourself for having said that. <laughs> yeah. Like just a little bit. With such shame. <laughs> oh, Conan. He's, um, he's rowdy yeah. rowdy. Um, going off of Riz's, uh, pe- people with short tights and also like super like greased up gimmicks. Uh, <laughs> Billy Gunn, Chuck Palumbo, and Rico. Oh, Shut. Hey, well, yeah. Rico was a fashion. <laughs> Shut, <magnate>. Yeah. <laughs> Rico was a fashion magnate. He was. That he was, was a gimmick. So he had to be. Um, yeah, I. They had fine. matching <laughs> headbands, headband, sir. Oh, and if anyone, wants to see, if anyone wants to see like the epitome of eighties fashion, just Google Big Scott Hall. Oh, oh I'm doing Scott that Hall. now. Big and Scott Hall. Wanna, Damn, those chicks. If I may uh, add another one, <laughs> I'll post this in the chat as well. Techno Team 2000. Oh, I love yes. Techno yes. Team 2000. They were on for like a week. Oh, oh wow. God, look at <laughs> that. Techno Team 2000. Look at those suits. Who is this? Is this anybody yeah. that did anything else? He looks no, tired. No, he was, um, <laughs> no. no, wasn't it? It was no. Bill Watts's son. Oh man, that's horrible. Because they're horrible. from the future, Sorg. Well, I, I want, I want are. a Techno Team Three Thousand. Can that we was, make that happen? Also, that was my friend Jason and I's go-to make fun of team. Also, <laughs> also from uh, uh, the chat, uh, this is the one I came up when we were trying to do the denim one, and I thought I, there was a different one than this that I could find. Uh, but there's here's a, a, a Macho Man uh, and. and on a rock in full denim, uh, and and she calls it the alpha and the omega of of denim. See, <clears throat> someone needs to tell Batista that's how you do it. That is that that that's is some denim Canadian, with like, some respect. 
Yes. Macho Man could do it right. Some goddamn dignity. That's right. If you're going to rock a Canadian tuxedo, you do not take the jacket off as soon nope. as you get to the ring. You live that shame. Yep. Live what? that fucking shame and own it. Right. Live that shame. Something like that. Uh, so if you guys uh, have any um, um, favorite uh, unmistakable uh, 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 outfits in pro wrestling, uh, shout outs to Papa Shango. Um, also King Mabel and Men on a Mission in general. Giant purple parachute pants. Um, oh, got one. Yeah. Giant Gonzalez. Giant Gonzalez with the oh, with the God, skin suit. Skin suit. Super. Who said whose birthday was it? Like on Raw, and they said shared a birthday with Giant Gonzalez. El Torito. Is it El Torito? No, it's not El no. Torito.